Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today I am sharing 10 repeated questions for IBPS SO marketing mains exam. Very important questions based on the previous papers. So, aise questions mains ke exam mein aksar a jate hain and I am sharing the questions along with the proper explanations. Explanation ke saath I am sharing the questions. Before starting let me tell you we have started the IBPS SO marketing 2022-2023 course in which we are providing the video classes, notes, live sessions, full length test series and unit test along with the professional knowledge uh, classes. Day one say we start the professional knowledge uh, classes and there is a systematic study plan. Link to join is available in the description. Please check the description to join the class. Okay. Example for personal factor that influences the consumer behavior. So students, uh, in this se uh, session, I'm not just teaching you 10 uh, questions. 10 questions he nahi padha rahe. I'm going to teach you the whole uh, concept. So the what are the various uh, factors that influences the consumer behavior? So religion, which of these is a uh, personal factor? Religion, reference group, subculture or occupation occupation is personal occupational it's a personal factor what are the various factors cultural factors are there social personal psychological so i'll give you a, a good example who is going to buy a turban obviously only a sick man is going to buy a turban most probably he is going to buy a turban right there are various kinds of products which are only uh, bought by a certain, uh, you know, uh, members of, um, you know, religious groups and there are certain products, sanitary pads are bought by women. They obviously men, they don't buy that. Okay. So uh, that is also a factor, a personal factor, uh, gender, obviously. Okay. A gender factor is there. So a lot of uh, who uh, who buys organic vegetables, organic vegetables or who buys A2 uh, ghee, who uses that or extra virgin olive oils, people who are obsessed with healthy food, they are going to buy these products, right? So this is your lifestyle. This is your lifestyle. That's how you live your life. That's how you live your life. So these are the factors cultural factors are there uh, and then the social factors are there and the social factors uh, reference groups family role and your status that determines okay what kind of car do you buy so that all depends uh, what everybody in your uh, society is doing you are going to do the same thing right so these are the social factors okay so what your culture is what your heritage is so the same thing you're going to do okay and whatever your personality is your age your life uh, at which stage of life you are at according to that you're going to buy the products right you're going to avail the services okay psychological what is your motivation what is uh, your beliefs and attitudes let me just hide myself beliefs and attitudes so organic food if you are uh, you know uh, you, you are positive towards your life right uh, if you are motivated for a better health right you are going to buy organic uh, you know organic food uh, organic vegetables so psychological factors are also affecting your buying behavior so these are the various factors which affects the buying behavior so in the previous question you have to give the uh, you know example of uh, the personal factors so uh, age is one occupation lifestyle these are the factors personal factors which are uh, your personality is different from any other person around you what you are unique everybody is unique everybody's eating habits are unique everybody's you know dressing sense is unique okay everybody's requirements are unique okay so you are unique and your uh, demands your requirements are unique as well okay so the process of dividing the potential market into sub markets with the common needs and features is called what the process of dividing the potential market into sub market 
the whole process is it the target marketing positioning market coverage segmentation so this is segmentation so you want to uh, you know uh, you want to promote or you want to advertise uh, let's say uh, kinder joy that is a very famous product international product right kinder joy who is going to buy kinder joy let's say you are the ad manager or the marketing manager for kinder joy how would you promote kinder joy you are going to promote kinder joy on cartoon network okay on cartoon network because you want to target uh, kids kids up to the age of seven or up to the age of six this is the target market of kinder joy so that is market segmentation you are uh, you know uh, identifying your target market so that can be done on the basis of geographics so location or the, the people from the city of ludhiana or pan india or worldwide or you know that can be you know based upon the location so that is geographic demographic the age so this is this is demographic okay very easy to do age gender socioeconomic group so behavioral and psychographic so uh, how do you buy milk how your family buy milk uh, generally, I mean, what I do is I buy a Verka or Amul milk. I what I what I do is I just buy one kg pack or half kg pack. That is my uh, you know that's how that's how I do it. The rate of usage I do it every day. So from last uh, six days I'm doing it every day, and I know I'm going to do this tomorrow as well. The rate of usage that is my behavior. That is my behavior. I'm loyal to a certain brand and I know how much quantity I need and how much quantity I'm going to consume and I'm actually ready to do that every day. Okay, that is my behavior. Okay, psychographic. So um, I want to eat clean food. I want to eat clean food, uh, clean, which is not very expensive, uh, not cheap. I, I won't say I need cheap food. Uh, I need clean food, uh, homemade food. I, I love to eat homemade and clean food, uh, high quality, high quality. These are my personal requirement and may, price most of the times is not really important for me. But most of the times uh, good quality products are not very expensive, right? So psychographic my uh, these are you know this is my personality lifestyle and attitude toward life right i i want to eat clean food made at home i want to eat organic food so this is the lifestyle i want to go to gym right so i'm going to uh, you know take the gym membership who is who's not going to gym every day who's who, who doesn't uh, somebody who's not into workout he's not going to buy a gym membership or something like that and maybe I'm going to buy some whey protein shakes and somebody who is not into workouts or healthy living, maybe he's not going to do that. I buy supplements, somebody who's not into these things, they are they're not going to buy any supplement or anything, right? So your personality, your lifestyle, how you live your life, that affects your buying decisions. And it is difficult to divide the population or the market into segment using psychographic right but it's very easy to do with uh, via geographic and demographic okay buzz marketing as a name suggest buzz marketing make use of influencers to spread the information about the products to the people nowadays youtubers are buzz marketers or influencers they are also known as opinion leaders so there are many stupid people who are going to buy mutual funds or shares using the advice of YouTubers. So that's very common. So which of the following is not the stage of product life cycle? So this is a very important topic. So let's do this. Uh, market segmentation is not. So uh, let's start this topic. Uh, this is product life cycle. So you might have uh, seen uh, iPods. In 2000, I guess, two when it was started, when it was launched, it was a very, very popular product. I couldn't afford that uh, when I was like, I, I was like 10 years old or 12 years old at, uh, yeah, I was 12 years old in 2002. 
I couldn't afford that, but I still remember people were crazy after this product in a very small, uh, you know, product, you could save a lot of songs. So uh, after, uh, you know, once the product is introduced, right? In case of iPod, uh, this introduction phase that was very short and then it grew really fast. And then it was introduced in 2002 and it grew in the same time, I guess, 2002, 2003, right? Uh, 2002 to 2000, I guess, eight. And then from 2010 onwards, 2010 to 2015, it matured. 2010 to 2015, it matured, the prices came down. And then I guess uh, iPhones or the phones, they replaced it and now it has been discontinued. This is a product life cycle, okay, in the growth phase the you know sales is growing really fast the sales is growing really fast in the maturity st stage the sales number are stable and in the decline stage the sales numbers are down so that is really important okay which business unit generates sub uh, substantial uh, cash surplus due to low industry growth and high market share what i'm talking about is the uh, this is uh, the bcg matrix right so uh, let's say the Apple products, Apple products, right? Which Apple product has a high market share and it is generating good amount of cash. Right now it is Apple watch, I would say. Apple watch or yes, Apple watch. The market share is high and market growth rate is also very high. Apple watch market growth rate is high the cash generation is also very high they are selling watches for like 80,000 rupees right so in certain products uh, where the market share is actually high but the market growth is rate is now very low uh, this is I would say right now is iPhones right uh, iPhone this is a product of Apple in which which is generating a lot of cash uh, but the cash generation um, but the you know market is not growing so there is uh, also a product in which the market growth rate is actually, you know, market growth rate is high, but the market share is actually low. So Apple TV, uh, not many people are using Apple TV or Apple Arcade, uh, but the market growth rate is really high. Netflix is doing really well. Okay. But you know, Apple is not doing well. Okay. So in case of Apple, I don't think there is any dog, right? They discontinue those products. Okay. So this is a simple point. Okay. So cash cow is a sort of business which generates substantial cash surplus, but the industry growth rate is very low. Okay. Strategies formulated to convert sick units to healthy. It is known as a turnaround strategy, turnaround strategy which converts a sick unit to healthy units. This is known as what? This is turn around strategy. Which of the following uh, and rest of the one expansion, you want to expand your business, increase the, uh, you know, activity that is expansion, diversification, you want to, you know, whatever you are doing right now, just, uh, you know, uh, do another business as well, something which which you are not doing, right? That is diversification which of the following is not included in five forces of competition. This is also known as the Potter model, the Potter's model. Okay. Five forces of competition, which are the five forces of competition? Uh, in the Potter model, there are entrants, threat of entrant. This is uh, one force suppliers, powers, degree of competition, the existing competitors, uh, the threat of uh, substitution, there may be substitute products. Uh, tea is the substitute of coffee. So if the price of coffee goes down, that may threaten the demand for tea. The customer's power, the customers may, may not be, you know, they may not uh, be uh, willing to buy your product. That may be also a force, right? So strategic planning is not a force, okay? Which one is an international credit rating agency? Very common question. Uh, SNP is an uh, international credit rating agency. Okay. Marketing myopia. Uh, this question was asked in 2019 and this concept was developed by 
Theodore Levitt. Okay, what is marketing myopia? When you are focused on short term goals, uh, short term profit making, you are focusing on short term profit making and not focusing on long term growth of the business. That is known as a marketing myopia. A good example is White Hat Junior. White Hat Junior. Uh, White Hat Junior ka ad you might have seen. So th those ads were uh, fake, I would say they were give, uh, spreading false information. So yeah, that was marketing myopia. Um, the number of product lines in a, a company can carries is, is known as what? Let's just explain the concept. See students, there is marketing width, marketing uh, the product not marketing width, uh, there is product mix width, product line length and product mix depth. So what is the difference between them? For example, there is a company HUL, Hindustan Unilever Limited. They produce soaps, shampoos, creams, toothpaste uh, in the personal care category and ice cream and tea in the food and drinks category, right? So they have a lot of brands like Lux, Dove, Life Boy, and in the shampoo, they have Clear, Dove, Life Boy, right? So the number of products in this category, in the soap category, this is product mix depth. So three is a product mix depth here. Three is the product mix depth here. Product mix depth here is three for this. Okay, three here, three here, okay. So what uh, what is a product mix? Uh, that was a depth number of products in the in the you know, uh, in the product line. And then what is the length product uh, mix length, it, it is a total number of products in the mix. So here all these products 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 is the product mix length. So what is the product mix length, it is a total number of products in the mix that is a product mix length. Width refers to the number of products uh, in the product line. So three is here. Okay. So uh, that that is the depth. Okay. So what is the product mix depth? It's a number of products in the product line. So what is the product mix width? Width of the mix refers to the number of product lines a company has to offer. So these are the various product lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 is a product mix uh, lens that the company is offering. So let's get back, let's revise. So what is a product mix width? It is the number of product lines the company has to offer. So soap, uh, shampoo, creams, soaps, shampoo, creams. So these are the various, uh, you know, if you total it, it is one, two, three, four, five, six. So six is a, in this example, six is a product mix width. Total number of products is I guess 15. 15 is a product mix length. Total number of products in the mix. It is a product mix length. So depth is, uh, it is three here. Okay, and it's three in these cases, one uh, in these three, these three lines, the three is the product mix depth, but in these three lines, it is two. So it is three, 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 two, two, two. So this is a product mix depth. So I hope this is clear now what is product mix width, depth and length. Length is a total number of products. Depth is a number of uh, brands or number of products in a product line. And uh, product mix width means number of product lines, number of product lines a brand has to offer. Okay. So students IBPS SO marketing course, it's available on bankexamstudy.com. In case of any doubt, always ask your doubts. I am here to answer all your doubts. It's my duty to answer all your doubts. All the links are available in the description. Please ask your doubts. I'm here to answer your doubts. All the video classes are available in the dashboard. We are providing live classes, recorded sessions and uh, Proper full length test series is there. Unit tests are also there. Professional knowledge is part of the course and we started from the day one. Interview preparation guidance is also part of the course, right? So all these students that took our courses in 2022, all these students that took our course and they got the final selection and I'm really, really proud of all, all these students, right? I'm really proud of them. 
uh, in the 2021 all these students took a course and there were hardly 60 vacancies i guess um, and then there was quota obviously in 2020 there were there was a bumper vacancy so all these students took our courses and 119 selections we got in 2019 all these students took our courses so from last i guess four years we are getting like out of the total number of selections 40 percent of the selections are from bank exams today and i'm really really proud of them all these students they are the students of bank exams today and i'm really proud of my students this is my achievement and i'm really proud of my achievement actually your success is my achievement take the course from bank exams today.com i'm here to help you you can call me anytime you can whatsapp me anytime it's my duty to help you and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day Bye bye